Good evening and welcome to Angel Hour. I'm Jacqueline Mary Piper and I'm a channel for the angels and the higher energies. And I'm here this evening to bring messages to people that are watching the show and also to give healing meditations. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is actually positive karma. Most of us think of karma in terms of uh, things which need healing and things which need clearing. But positive karma is also very important because you can accrue positive karma. You can create this in your life. You can have examples um, like for myself when I went to Peru last year. I was driving through the Andes, through the mountains from the really remote remote town to another and there was nothing in between the distances are quite large and I saw an old lady a really small frail old lady in her 70s in tradi traditional Peruvian dress wearing um, a hat and she had a big bag on her back and I thought you know what I'd really like to give her a lift. So I offered her a lift and she rode with us for an hour or so and we dropped her off in the next town. Now just recently, one morning I was meditating and a vast energy, and I mean really big, I'm used to connecting to angel energies and ascended master energies, um, but this was a huge energy and I was meditating to release some old emotional baggage and I was struggling with it. And this really vast light touched the top of my aura and filled me with energy and it was so huge. I still don't know who or what this energy was, but it was massive. And he, because it felt, felt male, may well have been androgynous, touched me with this light and released this emotional blockage and helped me. And, and I'm just amazed and I'm saying, well, why would somebody like you come and help me? My light's tiny compared to yours. And the answer I got back was because I felt like it. And instantly I was shown the old lady in Peru that I had given a lift to because I felt like it. And instantly I knew in that moment that higher beings also touch the people like me, like others of us who are working to try and lift our energy. And they do move around and they do look out for the lights of those of us who are trying to grow, trying to heal ourselves, and they will come and help. And that was amazing. And there's other examples. Um, when I was about 12 or 13, I was waiting on the train station. And in those days, you had to put an old two-p piece in the locker to use the ladies. And I had one left and I used it. And as I came out, my guide said to me, wouldn't it be lovely if you left this on the latch so that somebody else who might not have two-p could use the facilities? And I thought, yeah, do you know what? I'd like to do that. And it's exactly what I did. I walked out of the ladies onto the platform and realised that I left my umbrella in the loo. So if I hadn't have had those positive good thoughts, I would have lost my umbrella because I didn't have 2p to reopen it and get back in again. So that's just two examples. But this is going on all of the time. We are the creators of our life. We are the creators of our destiny. And what I'd like to do before I move on to giving the messages is to do a short uh, meditation to help clear the karmic ancestral DNA cords. Now, these are different to ordinary relationship cords, which I'm sure most people that work with angels have worked on. Relationship cords, we can cut asking Archangel Michael to come in. And these are the relationship cords um, that we want to be free of generally. There are healthy, positive relationship cords as well. But for the purposes of karmic clearing, the cords I'm talking about are the ancestral karma that we inherit along our family line in very much the same way as we inherit 
our eye color, our build, our um, attitudes, all of um, the things that we take on as we incarnate into a family affect us and not only do they affect us but they affect future generations so if you can clear some of the karmic cords which are your ancestral ones you're also helping your children if you have any or your grandchildren and so on down the line but not just yourself but your siblings who may also have inherited ancestral karma it's really easy to do. All you need to do is get grounded and connect, and I'll show you how to do that. And then invoke the energies that I'm going to be invoking. And then you run your hands down your body until you feel a slight resistance. And all the time you're thinking about these ancestral cords and your guides and your angels will show you by just letting your hands feel there's something to clear and that's where you stop and allow the higher beings to dissolve those cords and seal the ends in golden light it does create a lovely shift and there's no limit to how many times you can do this it's really enjoyable to do so if you want to do the meditation with me I'm going to do that now so I can just suggest that you call in your own guardian angel to step into your aura. Relax and visualize gold or imagine the color gold. This helps to raise your frequency so that the angels can connect with you. Golden energy is the color of the angels as well as other frequencies but gold is a primary colour. So just think about this gold and your angel being in your aura. And your angel is sending the most beautiful energy into your aura. I can feel my angel with me filling my aura like a balloon being blown up with beautiful golden light. This harmonizes your energy and it also expands your energy field which enables the beings of light to reach you and reach the areas that need unblocking more easily. So if you just continue to imagine gold you might like to breathe it in and breathe it out into your aura so your aura is filling with gold. Now imagine this gold flowing down into earth below your feet, through the foundations of the house or room that you're in. Imagine you have roots spreading out from your feet, golden roots. These are going all the way down into Mother Earth, right down into the heart centre. In the core of Earth is a pool of golden healing light and this energy you are now connecting your cords into. Your roots are connecting with the heart of Mother Earth energetically. And now feel a beautiful flow back as she releases healing energy and love up the roots and into your feet. Feel this energy washing over your feet, strengthening your aura, grounding and healing you. You may feel many more angels around you now as angels of love are coming in and expanding the energy around you. They are holding a circle of angelic light around each one of you doing this meditation. And allow the loving angelic energy 
and blend it with earth energy to move up your legs through your knee. And relaxing the muscles of your thighs and allow it to seep right through. Imagine it going into the very bones of your body. And the more you relax, the more you can absorb. And the angels are harmonizing with sound vibrations and frequencies that might be out of earshot, but I can see them and I know that they're using sound and the sound waves break up lower energies. So they're healing with sound and energy, as well as the color rays of gold and pink. And imagine these flowing into your base chakra and it feels very pleasant as you relax into it you feel very secure and very safe knowing that your guardian angel archangel michael on the blu-ray is coming in and creating a dome of light of his deep royal blue energy over each one of you. And this beautiful deep blue energy completely protects you on every level from being interrupted by any other energies as you open up and helps you to focus. Okay. And the energies continue to flow up through your sacral chakra, which is expanding. This is between your hips. Okay, and just allow your body and all the organs and physical parts to relax. You're allowing healing from the angels into your body, your mind and your soul as you relax and accept this energy. And gently it flows into your solar plexus between your ribs. And the feeling of letting go, of strengthening this area, of healing and relaxing you is coming in. You might feel it expanding as well as you relax. And the energy moves up into your heart, your heart chakra. And you can ask for these golden and pink energies and the blue ray of Archangel Michael to be anchored if you wish. Anchored in your chakras and your auric field so that you are constantly connected this will help you to lift your energy and also help you to connect to the angels on your own more easily. Every time you do this, it strengthens your connection. And now from above you, just imagine the mighty Archangel Metatron just bringing his golden orange ray down through your stellar gateway that's a chakra above your head. Okay, just relax and allow it to happen. And it's flowing down through your soul star, which is above your head as well. Filling this energy center with healing light. And through your causal chakra above your head. And into your crown chakra which you may feel opening and this golden orange light moves down through your third eye chakra healing clearing your mind bringing you a quality of peace an angelic presence is with you and it flows down into your throat. 
filling your throat with healing and empowering energy to empower you to move forward on your life path. And Archangel Metatron energy is flowing into your heart where it blends with the other energies from Earth and from the angels of love. And if you wish, just give your permission to the angels to release from you whatever they can at this time. There are some very powerful angels that always work with the highest intentions, absolute, pure, loving, angelic energy. And they are present with you now. And I also invoke the powers who are mighty angels of karma. They dwell in the upper dimensions, they're a very high frequency and very powerful angelic being as their name suggests. And I work with these very often to release karma. And I'm asking now that one of these angels of karma, or more as they desire, they're showing me three, three around each person, so three, one standing in front, one on your right and one on your left, holding you in a triangle of golden light. And just visualise or use your hands to sweep down across your body and stop where you feel there is something that's resisting or a little heavier than you would like it to be. And ask the angels to dissolve the ancestral cords, the ancestral DNA, karma, that flows through your family and yourself. And just give them a little time to work through your energy and to release you in every way that they can. For their job is to help you, and by you asking, you are empowering them. As they work, they receive light from above them, from their connections, and they grow. Everything is connected, and everything is very purposeful, without exception, part of the greater plan. So continue to let that energy flow through you. And be healed and know that you can call these beings at any time should you wish to. And I can feel them definitely releasing something from my heart chakra. Absolutely. And I feel it, I will, I can see it as well. It's shriveling up like a cord which is being shriveled up because it's being unwound and released. Like, well, like it's dying. It's a cord which is then just being broken and just symbolically taken away. But the energy shift and the gold light that came in in its place, exceptionally healing. And I can see an angel with his hand on my heart shark, we're just smoothing that gold in. So I imagine this is what they're doing for everyone that's watching as well. Is that right? Yes, okay, they say yes. So that's lovely. Okay. All right, and you might want to ask Archangel Sadkael on the violet flame ray to just come in now and clear your energy, to just dissolve and release any debris from the clearing. All the angels love to work together without exception. They really do. They receive a great amount of joy from moments like this when they can connect with each other and come to the assistance of people on the earth plane. So I hope you've enjoyed that. The meditation's finished. So just bring yourself back to the room and thank the angels actually i'm thanking mine for that help it feels really good i do feel that i've been helped there 
Um, okay, so with the messages, um, what I want to do is I want to talk about um, whatever the angels give me for you, and the angels will draw me to who they want me to give a message to. Um, if you have any general um, questions that you want to ask um, about how you do certain things, do post them up as well. Um, if you particularly would like me to give you a past life reading, do ask, um, or a unicorn reading, or an angel card. Okay. Mm. Okay. Hi, Mark Warren. Hello, Rosa Sagara. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Roger. Good to see you there. Rosa Sagara has a lovely book if you Google her, which I really enjoyed reading. It's for sale on Amazon, a spiritual book. Uh, hi, Rose Dennis. Hi, Ida Scott. Yes, Ancestors card and clearing up came up for me this morning. <laughs> well, that's great confirmation then. Um, okay, lovely to see you, Isla. Uh, hi, Christine. Hello. Hello, Terry. Good evening to you. Hi, Evie. Hi, Rose. Rose, Rose, who says hi to Christine. Rose Dennis. The names are scrolling up, but I know that I want to come to Rose Dennis. So, Rose, I am looking and asking to be connected to your energy. Have you felt a little frail? Have you felt left behind in some way recently? I feel the angels are telling me you need to know that people love you. Um, there are people that care about you. I feel you've had it hard and you've been either cut off or hurt by people. Um, hey, concentrate on the people that love you because there are people who really do love you and don't take other people's um, things on board so much. Um, I just feel that some of the things people may have said or the actions that they may have done has been uh, a little damaging to you. You don't have to let it be. It's not um, for you to absorb um, their uh, malcontent or, or their issues. And I really feel the angels are saying, be strong, stand in your own light, in your own power. You're a really lovely lady. I, I feel you do some spiritual work. Or um, yet you have such a, a lovely light with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Archangel Raphael wants to come in with this healing. You need to nurture yourself more. Don't worry about what other people are saying or thinking. Hey, that's their stuff. Let them uh, think or say or do what they want to do. Disconnect, you know, and um, just bring the lovely energies around you because that is what you deserve. Um, you really, really do. I think you've been through the wars, um, but the spirit world um, really love you and appreciate you um, because I can see there's a lot of support for you from them and I do feel that you communicate with them yourself. Um, don't take things so hard that people say, um, wrap yourself up, you know, in Archangel Metatron's energy because this is really protective for Golden Orange Rain. Ask him to be with you and help you get stronger after any setbacks. Yeah, that's what they want me to say to you. Um, and if, if you, I saw you said, hi, Christine. If that's Christine Connolly, you have a very good friend in her if that's the Christine that you meant. So love to you both. Okay. Hi, Sarah Ferry. Sarah Bishop. Hi. Lovely to see you there. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, Caroline. Hi, Kismet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kismet. Okay. Um, Kismet Majeski. Hi, I'm going through major downloads. I would love any guidance about the new healing modalities I'm receiving. 
much love and gratitude. Okay, yep. I'm just attuning to your vibration. This feels very purposeful. Um, it does feel like um, it's not quite complete yet. I guess you're in the process of downloading the information. There's a really strong connection with you spiritually um, in that you're a channel for these energies to come in. And they are meant to be um, established, written down by yourself and shared. Would I be right in saying it's a combination of different energies? Because I don't feel it's just one type of healing energy. I feel that you're combining more than one in these channelings. Um, feels really good. And it feels very strengthening, very stabilizing. I see a lot of the deep green ray around you, which is the earth energy. So I feel that the earth comes in here somewhere with you and you're channeling the healing modalities. Do keep grounded, they're saying. Do keep grounded. I think you are very aware of that and I think you do. So you're setting a good example for us all. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's a particular being of light that's just come into my perception connected with you, which is a, a master's energy, um, as in an ascended master. Okay. I'm just trying to see if I can see who it is. It's, he is presenting as a male energy. And in my mind, I'm asking him if he would draw closer. He's very, very healing. Well, I, this is not an ascended master that I'm familiar with. He's not uh, a known master in the sense that um, he's been written about so far, but good, good. We need more of the ones that haven't been written about so far to come forward. Um, this is important. There's so few that have been written about and we uh, know about, and there are, are so many who haven't yet been written about that are ascended that have passed through the earth planes on their journey and it's important you bring his information through and there is a connection with atlantis with you and with him so i'm feeling that he was an ascended master that came and helped you in atlantis okay but he isn't named in our day and age but he would have been known to you then so do connect with him um, yeah, I'm being given a, a comparison with um, the Ascended Master, Lord Vuslu. Um, so it's this kind of power and energy. Great, I love this. It's, um, what's the word? Uh, when you're breaking through the next layer, the next level breakthrough work. Okay, it's the next level that you're bringing through. On the cutting edge. Someone's just said in my ear, that's the phrase I wanted, on the cutting edge. Brilliant, Kismet, go for it, go for it. Hi, Trish. I'm glad you like the meditation. Thank you for saying so. Yeah, healing energy all around you. There's a lot of greens, light greens and deeper greens and mid greens. So I know that you need to absorb as much healing as you can at this time and continue doing that. Ask them on a daily basis, and you might like to ask Archangel Raphael to send an aspect of himself, one to come in front of you, Trish, one behind you, one to the right, one to the left, one above you, and one below you at the beginning of each day, and hold you in a bubble of green healing energy. And this can be done with any of the higher beings and the unicorns, the ascended masters, they will all help. It is as important to them that we move forward as it is um, for the beings connected with them because we're all connected in this upward moving chain. So they have beings that help them above them. Of course, there are many different levels of ascended master. There's the lower level ascended, medium and, and the higher. We go on and on up to source and everyone's connected. So in a way, um, as they help us, they also help themselves. Um, you know, there's always a reciprocal effect from the universe. So never worry about asking because 
trust me they want to help they want to attune to what's above them the greater light and bring it through themselves and help you they grow you get help it, it's all positive it all works hi nick hi helen helen Det Weiler Dunkel, may I please have an angel card? Yes, you can. Let's find an angel card for you. I'm using the, the Dorian Virtue angel cards. Uh, so where are you? Well, oh, there you are, Helen. Okay, so I'm asking my angel for card for Helen. And it's this one. Ooh. Archangel Sandalphon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Gifts from God. Okay. You don't believe in yourself enough is the message with this that I'm being given for you. You are spiritually very capable and you do have spiritual gifts. Please um, accept that, relax and allow um, that energy to connect to you because when you um, get frustrated or you don't think that you're getting the message through you create um, an energy of frustration around you you're creating worry and concern which makes it even harder for the angels to come through the more you relax and go well okay um all i'm going to do is do my best um and don't worry about it the, the more open you become and the more freely they can connect with you you are talented and you can um, develop your clairvoyance in particular I'm being told um, please keep asking them because when you keep asking the angels to connect with you like you do they build um, an energy around you if you're continually connecting okay it builds up builds up builds up um you can do what you want to do the main thing is you have to have faith in yourself and keep trying yeah I was listening to a Frank Sinatra song earlier in the car and he was saying about when you get knocked back then you just get right on back up you don't quit and I agree don't quit I've had so many knockbacks in my life you wouldn't believe but each time I come back stronger and you can do that you really can so please keep going hello Ian hi Rose hi Rita Rita, yes, Rita La Fassi. I have a, may I have a past life reading, please? Yes, you can. Hi, Birkin. Hello, dear. you finally made it. How lovely to see you. Birkin, I should say, because I looked it up so I could pronounce it properly. Didn't want to not do you justice. You have such beautiful energy. Birkin Tour. I recommend anyone that wants to connect to light and beautiful energies to look up his page on Facebook. Um, absolutely admirable and very beautiful. So back to past life. Now, let's see. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay, that's nice. Past life. These are Dorian Virtues, past life cards, which I can't hold straight, but I'm trying to. Okay, the farm, 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 farm. The first thing that comes into my mind clairvoyantly is you as a little girl. <clears throat> a little girl, um, and the farm you're wearing, this is in America, and this is like early settler's clothes. You're, you're very, oh, okay, you're very nicely dressed and looked after, and... I'm not very good on children's ages because I haven't got children, but you look about five or six. But um, there is some kind of mishap that happened to you, and it's to do with water. And in this past life, I feel you 
drone, okay? So the reason this will be coming up is because it's something which your soul wants you to ask for release and clearing on. We're never shown what we can't be helped with, okay? So when something comes up, if it looks um, uncomfortable on the surface, don't worry about that. Just know because it's come up, it's life and the universe and your angels and your soul, your guides, are offering you the opportunity to clear it. So actually, it's good. It's good. So do look at that past life because um, I do feel it, it restricts you. It's, it, you were cut short. And oh, there was such a feeling of loss, such a feeling of loss from your mother in that life that it kind of held you back um your soul you didn't really want to leave her in that life and move on so you need to do a little bit of work on that and the angels will help you sometimes aspects of our soul doesn't move on for various reasons um it becomes attached to people or places um and you can do this uh release work and if you get stuck uh look look at possibly having a session with me jacquelinemarypiper.com because i do this karmic release work and have done it for decades and that isn't to say you can't do it on your own with your angels because you can i'm just saying if you want some help i'm here um like a lot of other good light workers and angel workers okay there's a wonderful variety of us out here now and more and more people uh, coming out into broadcasting which i think is fabulous there can't be enough people doing it if there were one in every road i would be happier because the world would be a happier place and so with people hi Haley. hi julia hi anna lovely to see you there nice for you to join us well, i'm glad that, that you can relate to that kismet thank you for the feedback i appreciate that and I need to go back to Julia, who says, hello, love the meditation, Julia Kudbarat. Okay, that's where I need to be. Julia. Oh, okay. Um, so as I tune to your energy, it's lovely. <laughs> I, really, I really have a good um, flow back from your energy field. Um, I know you can be a little bit hesitant at times, but you're such a, um, a, a good-natured, willing, um, lovely person. You're just lovely to be around. And the colours I saw in your energy field are beautiful and vibrant, um, like lovely strong pinks. Um, and there was a lovely... Um, like a, a red and red, red is good you know red, red is motivating energy it gets us going red is wonderful we need all of the colors of the spectrum not just our violets and uh, other colors and that doesn't mean to say you don't have those i'm just saying um that me for example need, needs more more red anyway Back to what I was going to say, you also have a nice, uh, good, strong flow of the orange ray. So I would say that that means that you like uh, being active physically. Usually when the orange ray is strong, that's what it means. You're a very spiritual person as well. You're just a really healthy, lovely, nice person. What can I say? I'm just listening. Yeah, the hesitancy bit. They're draw, drawing me back to the hesitancy. Um, okay. Okay, is it a little bit of shyness that you try and hide from the world? That deep inside you are a little bit shy, perhaps. Hey, that's fine. So am I. It's really hard for me to speak up and speak out, but I make myself do it as the shyness is part of the sensitivity and you need the sensitivity to be able to um, connect to the high, fine, spiritual vibrations. And you can do it, spiritual work. I don't know if you've tried. I believe you've thought about it. Um, yes, you can. It is on your life path and it is connected with your soul purpose, I'm being told. 
So that will develop. I'm seeing five years written up. So I would say over the next five years, there's going to be a lovely gradual progress along that path for you. And good, we need more and more people doing this. You're very blessed, you know. Um, I don't do a lot of evidential mediumship, but I do know that there's a grandmother um, in the spirit world that's really <laughs> drawing so close with love around you. Um, and she's saying, go, good girl, good girl. She's really pleased for you. I feel that you're making strides ahead at the moment. And she is bolstering you up from the spirit world. She's so by your side. Um, perhaps you know that anyway, but I can just confirm that for you. Great. The pleasure to connect to you. Thank you. Hi, Carol. Glad you like the meditation. Okay, yeah, rewatch the video and do it again. Angela, hi. Yeah, hi, Angela. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, I'm um linking with your energy are you struggling with learning something at the moment or there's some difficulties around you um like things are on top of you a little bit um stressy with you at the moment or things going in all directions it's not as smooth as you would like it to be or your life at the moment i feel um, what I do have a, a strong impression of is things um, will resolve themselves and you're to keep going because it's been going on for a while, hasn't it? Uh, Gabriel comes in, Archangel Gabriel, uh, which is for purity, clarity, clarity. That's it. You need the clarity to kind of see your way out of the situation that you're in at the moment. And Archangel Gabriel is offering is offering to help you don't be downhearted okay you can get through this and you will get through this that's for sure and i feel in six months time you're going to be thinking real differently and like whoa so glad that's behind me i hope this is making sense to you angela you have a lovely um um caring energy sensitive and kind feel that you're good with animals, you are so kind. You would help anybody, wouldn't you? Lovely person. Don't get downtrodden and don't let others walk over you, okay? That's something that's coming in for you. Could have been happening for you for, hey, maybe quite a, a long time. Don't let others take advantage of you, please, okay? If you were your angel, would you like that to be happening to you? Uh-uh, no, okay? So look on yourself um, from an outside point of view and what you would recommend to somebody else or if you were your own guardian angel, you know the kind of things, you can sense and feel and know uh, what they would say to you. Hey, take notice, okay? Don't let people walk all over you. It's really key that's so important for you in this lifetime and it is a karmic thing because that has happened to you in other lives okay so it's a repetitive repeating cycle and you can get that cleared in this lifetime okay and you're going to feel so much better when you do i hope that helped you hi libby hi michelle <laughs> okay kiss that hi Thank you. Hi, Marjan. Yes, I do. Marjan Hilbernick. Hi, Jacqueline. Do you have an angel card for me? Oh, yes, I do. Right, okay. So I'm asking in my mind my angels to show me the perfect card for you. I'm going around here somewhere. <laughs> nice card. Take back your power. Well, 
it's very easy um, to let other people um, oh no it's very easy for you to convince yourself that other people are better than you are better at doing certain things or more this or more that uh -uh, this is not true everybody has equal potential and quite frankly nobody can do certain things uh, better than you in the areas that you have incarnated to do in your unique way you know, nobody can excel in the same way that you can because they haven't got all the components that you have within you from your lives, your experiences, your soul group. Hey, you've got to give yourself recognition and do stop looking up to other people and start focusing on the good things about you, please. That's what your next step is. Um, this is what the angels are saying for you. Please, please, please. Think about you, take back your power, and don't let other people be overbearing. Good heart and goodwill is wonderful where appropriate, okay? Not where people are just taking advantage. Uh-uh, stop it. Anyway, okay, so thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, Birkin, thank you for commenting. It's just lovely to feel your energy. Hi, Dee. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Joe. Okay, Joe. Mm. <laughs> right, okay. I know that you're my sister and no one, I'm only going to say one thing, I just feel physical healing and I know that you don't um, necessarily work with angels and I know um, that you're a pharmacist and you're coming from things at a different angle but I do feel angel healing on a physical level would be good. You could try it, you know, you could try it, you may be surprised. Archangel Raphael. Right, oh, where do I need to go? Do you know where I need to go? I need to go to D Patel. I do. Okay, D, D, D. <clears throat> right. Okay, so I, as I um, link with your energy remotely, D, I have um, gold energy and I have green energy both coming in strongly connected to you. The gold to me is um, the angelic energy, the green is the healing energy um, and I know that you're a healer. I feel there might have been a little frustration around you at the moment as well with things not quite moving forward or not building in the way that you have wanted them to. The angels are saying to me, sometimes there's an easier route that you haven't yet noticed. Um, you have your mind quite fixed on something going a certain way. I feel the angels want to show you an easier option here, okay? So I know that you're very intuitive yourself. Open your mind and ask for other solutions to what appear to be problems because sometimes um, there's an easier way of going about things than when we hit a bit of a brick wall or things get a bit stagnant, it's because we're not meant to continue in that direction. And I know sometimes that's hard to hear. Uh, on a personality level but if you do allow your guidance to come through you know um, the guidance and um, the soul energy ask your soul energy to come in ask you to help but the, ask your angels to help you do that have that connection your soul plan and your soul purpose as you know will always bring you a uh, greater happiness a greater satisfaction and fulfillment when you get more aligned with it on on track something does need to be changed there needs to be a little alteration in perspective and action okay gee so i'll let you go and um be open okay even be open now as you're watching this and, and keep asking because the energy is good the energy is high at the moment take advantage of the pool of energy that everyone here is creating and all the angels that have come in and ask for signs, ask for guidance and inspiration. 
that's something everyone can do that's watching okay because there's a collective consciousness here at the moment mm. hi vicky Vicky Louise Plattwood, I'm thinking about starting a business to sell my artwork. Do the angels have any advice for me? I'm hearing the word research. Um, this is on the business level. Um, research very carefully how you want to present your work and the avenues which you want to go down and explore with it. You have to be very thorough. Okay, I do feel you can do this, yes, and I, I know your art is inspired because I just felt a whole flush of energy come down and it had the word inspiration in it. Um, that's beautiful. You need to be very uh, structured in how you go about this. Explore the avenues and it will build. It will take some time, okay, as you build the foundations, um, but then it will establish and, and I feel a real happiness coming from you as I feel the future energy so I am getting a real positive feeling that yes this is a good way to go but while you set it up please um, be very um, business minded business minded um, and make sure that you cover yourself um, before you spend out a lot of money okay that isn't really necessary because i feel there's going to be um coming up quite soon something where you need to or will have an opportunity to make a decision and it will involve putting an investment of money into your business uh, and it's going to look like that will help it grow and you're going to consider it and it's up to you of course absolutely to do what you want to do but the angels are going uh, 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 uh. I don't feel that's going to be the right thing in the sense that it won't pay back the dividends that have been um, sold to you. It won't it won't materialize in the way that um, its potential possibilities have been shown to you. It's not necessary to do it that way. OK, there's lots of ways to promote your business um, on the Internet and the media. Try um, booking a session with somebody um, who is a media expert just for an hour or something um, to discuss ideas and uh, free ways. You know that you can expand your business it doesn't have to be a large sum of investment. So tread really carefully there because there's lots of um, promotional bodies that will take your money and will not give you the return so caution please i love the idea i love the feeling i got the flow back from the angels about your work but you have to be very um careful about how you set it up okay take your time study it look in depth and it will grow and build because i saw a structure that was expanding there upon layer and I knew that was over years. That's what I see for you. So I hope that's helped. Right. Mm. Where do I need to go? I'm just, I'm just seeing where I need to go. I feel I need to go to Lynn, Lynn Woodring Quilliman. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the minute I said your name and thought about you, there was a burst of angelic energy. So I know that you're already connected. And this is your guardian angel that is showing herself to me um lots of sparkling golden light over her wings um <laughs> she's um very mo moving moving a lot a, a lot of happiness um she's she's very um oh what how can i describe her coming closer she, her wings are golden okay and she's sparkling sparkling lights like little stars all around her and around her neck is like a green uh, a long green scarf uh, she's showing me the full moon that may mean something to you um okay have you been reading 
things lately. She's showing me a book. She's showing me a book like you've been reading and studying at home. This is in your own time for your own pleasure. Um, I think it might be connected with spiritual things, but I, I think you like novels too. Do you like dogs and walking through the woods? Because that's another impression that I'm, I'm getting back here for you. I feel your mother's energy very close around you. Um, perhaps uh, that there's a very strong past life connection between the two of you. Perhaps there are issues that haven't yet been quite resolved, although you both want them to be. So that's an area for you to look into. And I believe you like quiet time on your own. Um, and you could just, you're very loved. Do you connect with the unicorn Pegasus as well? Because I've just seen one come in next to your angel, golden wings and the, and the golden horn of light. Yeah, there's some magical energies with you. And also there's a link with you through your soul vibration to Athens. Athens, okay, this is a, a past life link. Right, okay. So, thank you to everybody who's um, watched tonight. It's been a pleasure to bring the energies through. And of course, you can watch the meditation at the beginning and do that again and again. And just lots of love um, to everybody on their journey. May the angels be with you, hold you safely in their light, and you know they will. All you have to do is ask, just invoke them. All right, lots of love and angel blessings. Bye-bye.